starch painting is an interesting craft which students, kindergarten through college, can enjoy. Spencer enjoys swinging to create his starch painting while listening to music. It's so free and easy and can be done quickly. You need few materials to explore and create in many ways. Use starch painting for Christmas cards, invitations, menu cards, and wrapping paper. Notice how a starch painting made an interesting placemat. Natalie covered a box top with her starch painting to make a tray for crayons. Or paint a picture about what you're studying. It's easy to start paint. Would you like to try? Here are four steps to remember. First, cut a piece of cardboard to design with. Cut several for different ideas. Second, cover any glazed paper completely with prepared or boiled starch mixed to the consistency of cream. Third, add tempera easel or watercolor paint to the starch. Fourth, experiment. Design the surface with cut cardboard. Materials you need are glazed paper, board, newspaper, paper towel, starch and brush, tempera water paints, Paintbrush, wet towel to keep hands clean, cardboard and dry towel to keep desk clean. This is Terry, ready to paint a design with starch. She uses paper cut from a roll of butcher paper. Use any glazed paper. It prevents starch from soaking in. Two tablespoons of starch will cover a sheet of paper 16 by 22 inches. A flat brush will help to spread it. Terry adds a teaspoon of tempera paint to her starch paper. She doesn't have a board to work on, so she uses newspapers. They are larger than her starch paper, so she can keep her table clean. She covers her paper with one color before beginning her design. Use a brush to put paint on smoothly and quickly. Stand while painting. It's easier to swing your design on paper and helps keep your clothes clean, too. Terry has experimented with cut cardboard so she knows the designs it will make. After the painting is finished, lay it on clean newspapers to dry so the edges will not stick to them. If edges curl like this after drying, turn it over and press with a warm iron. Or use books as weights and leave overnight. Now Terry is ready for a craft project. See how flat the edges are after pressing. This is the design she will use to cover a box. Terry cut the starch painting to fit her box before pasting it. Mix paste with water to consistency of cream for all over pasting. Use a wide brush. Now watch how carefully she wraps pasted paper around the box. Terry planned and knew how to use materials so her box does not have wrinkles. Be sure to cut the paper larger than the box top so it will be big enough to cover sides and edges. Paste paper all over. Place box top on paper. Bring the paper over sides of the top like this. Add an extra strip around the side to make it neat and strong. Press firmly to help it stick. You do not need to cover the bottom. Now, how do you think Terry will use her box?
Why, look, it made a nice knitting box. Rope or yarn can be added for handles. Can you think of other ways to use these boxes? Experiment in many ways to design with starch. Move cardboard across the paper for straight lines. Watch how to get zigzag lines. Now, half circles. In this way, lines of radiation. Or use it for writing. Now watch other ways. Paint one color over the starch paper. Drop a contrasting color on it and see what happens. Try sprinkling many dry powder paints on starch paper. See what interesting colors can be made. Experiment more. Try folding the corners over the paper like this. Press down and now open the paper. Try this with all corners. It's fun to mix colors right on paper to discover new ones. Try painting strips of colors across the starch paper for interesting space feeling. To get texture, bring corners together while still wet and crush between hands. Take the corners and unfold them. Notice what crinkled texture it makes. Can you think of other ways to create texture? Notice these different materials. Explore to discover what kind of texture and design can be made by using them. Paint some of them with a brush like this and place on a clear wet starch paper to make a design. Or use them this way on a freshly painted starch paper. or dip them in paint mixed with starch and press on a dry, unstarched paper. Here a wad of paper is being used. Notice how the painted end of a spool made this all over design. Or paint the side of a worn eraser to get other shapes. The natural grain of wood when painted makes interesting texture. Dip the kitchen scrub brush in paint and see what a nice texture effect it gives or the interesting holes of a sponge. Paint the ends of a piece of folded tag board and see what happens. You do not need paint when using colored chalk. Just rub it into the wet starch paper. This beaded design was made from the painted end of a curved piece of corrugated paper. Take a tongue depressor and see what interesting line design you can create. Paint edges of box ends and overlap them to get many other shapes. Miriam, a second grader, will paint a picture. She uses a large flat brush and covers the glazed shelf paper with starch. Using a smaller brush, she dips into her easel paint and begins to paint. Now for a few sweeping lines. Miriam uses a board under the wet starch paper because it's easier to work on. She knows it's best not to have her paper too large and to work fast because the starch may dry out. What do you think this will be? An animal? Why, look, it turned out to be a running horse. All the second horse needs are some prancing legs. Place wet brushes on paper towel when not in use. Miriam put these horses in the desert. Watch the cactus plants grow. After she adds the ground, she uses her cardboard for fine textured lines. Powder poster paint can be sprinkled right on the starch paper. Here, Miriam adds blue for sky. A sweep of the brush will make the color stronger. Well, I guess this picture is about finished. Look, Miriam's picture is framed and ready to hang on the wall. Would you like to paint about what you are studying? Use starch painting for booklets, portfolios, photo and address books.
cover ice cream cartons with starch designs for waste baskets. If shellacked, they will be stronger and easier to keep clean. These boxes have been covered with starch designs for jewelry, flowers, stamps, and other uses. Create other starch designs and cover boxes for letters, cooking recipes, arithmetic cards, or file boxes. Designs for Christmas and gift boxes. Starch paintings make interesting pictures for home and school. Try many ways to create your starch painting. Drop contrasting colors on starch paper for design. Or paint imaginary trees. It will be fun for you to experiment and find new ways of creating in starch painting.